two ways of inserting videos into your HTML5 and CSS3 bootstrap responsive website. This is the thing that we are going to learn into this tutorial. So stay tuned. Hello and welcome to another new episode of Learning Simplified. So today we are about to know how to insert videos into your project and of course it is a bootstrap responsive one that means we have well, we are allowed to use html5 and css3 there are two ways of inserting videos into your project the first one is conventional where we will be using a iframe class and the video will be uploaded in youtube first from there we will be using the source code the embedded code actually and in the second case we will this is practically an experimental one we will be trying to insert video that means the video tag which is used in html5 now these are the two things that we are going to learn so let's concentrate in the first case now if we get back into our project we can see that actually a separate container has been produced in this purpose and i have used two columns over here both of them are consuming six grids each and in this first case we have used the common embed response code that are extensively used in case of bootstrap technique here we have used a deep class embed responsive embed responsive 16 by 9 so this is practically a 16 is to 9 aspect ratio if we want to use a 4 is to 3 aspect ratio then it would have been 4 by 3 if we wanted to use a 1 is to 1 aspect ratio then it, it would have been 1 by 1 so these are the things that we need to remember always. I am using here the 16 is to 9 aspect ratio and then we are defining this iframe class. Here it is. This is the class embed responsive item. I have allowed allow full screen here and the source is this one. This is practically a little witty thing that we need to improvise here. This is our channel actually and here this is the video that we wish to use into our project and that is why I'll be opening it into a new tab. I'm just pausing it and here in this segment this is the share button as you can see over here. Now all we have to do we have to use this embed code and here this is the source file that we are practically looking for. All we have to do we have to copy this one. This is the whole thing that we need to copy and this is going to be used over here in this segment. Always remember to use this source code while you are using a YouTube video that the first thing is you have to upload the video into YouTube and then you have to use that embedment code over here and you have to set those parameters over here as you can see class embed responsive item and you have set this allow full screen mode and you have declared the source. So this is the first case that you are aware of and in the second case using the code HTML5 video tag. This is the video tag that you have used in case of an HTML5 with this tag practically no external player is required. The browser itself will play all those videos that will be defined over here and with the proper parameters it will be executed. Now we have used this video with controls. Now if we remove these controls, just remove this control, press control S, get back to your project. You can see that here is a control is present. Now I am reloading here. And we can see that there is no control is being executed here practically. No control is present over here and reload and now you can see that those controls are present here. On the other hand if we now move this auto play option remove this auto play option and get back to your project and reload now we can see that the auto playing option auto playing mode has been disabled. If you want to see this video all you need to do you need to press this button and you can see now that video is being played in, inside your browser and everything is quite alright. So if you just activate this autoplay option and get back to your project and you can see that that the video is now self playing it is getting played automatically we don't have to press any button so this is the thing that we need to remember 
in the next case i have set this width to 100% that means it will be consuming up all of this grid while being played into your inside your browser now in this case you may have observed that we have used a source src where i have used the folder the containing folder that is practically holding all these videos inside and the name of the file and the type of the video that is .mp4 now you may see here another thing that i have used the same folder name same file name but this time with a different extension name and we have mentioned a type in the first case i have mentioned here the type is video slash mp4 and in the second case i have mentioned this type video slash webm in these days mp4 is all enough to be played across any browser and it is now well adopted and well supported by the latest versions of every every browser but you need to keep in your mind that in some certain cases there are some monitors there are some systems some computers those are still using old browsers and everything is in its older version so that is why in older versions these kind of video players that means this dot mp4 those were played by some certain kind of browser such as in mozilla it supported dot mp4 but in case of a safari or in case of some other browsers it is seen that webm is the ultimate source player that means this will be the supported file format for those kind of browsers so that is why the same video it has been converted twice it has been set to dot mp4 version in the first place and then it has to be placed again it has to be called in again as a dot webm format in the second case in an effort to be supported across all browsers in their old version format so that is why this is a repetition of the same video twice there goes practically the folder that holds all these videos here these are the videos as you can see in the first case we have used the embed responsive method the conventional common prototype embed responsive method and we can see that this is the common conventional method that is being used all over and in the second case this is experimental practically but you can adopt it in case if you do not wish to upload your video into youtube then all you need to do you need to call in those video tags inside as you know that practically bootstrap is an html5 and css3 format supported look over into this doc type declaration here it is html language english and you know that all those things those are being called in here's the html5 sim shim and sheep code over here and all those things that means it is an html5 version supported then uh, i think there's possibly no problem in executing those videos into this style all you need to do you need to call in this video tags over here you need to define those controls here and then you need to define the autoplay option whether you wish to keep some autoplay or not and in case of responsive i think it will be a wise thing to use this with to define it as a hundred percent and then you need to define the source of this video as you can see and the type of the video and then you need to define these videos in two different file formats now let's look into the browser and check out our videos finally that whether those are working or not this is practically a video of ours which which will be being played back by youtube and let's see now in this tutorial we are going to understand how to introduce bootstrap it is now doing quite well over here and now let's play it again here are the controls as you can see you can maximize you can minimize and this is the pause button as you can see so we have successfully implemented these two videos inside our bootstrap project and now let's press ctrl shift m and see what is happening inside here it is we can see that all these two things they are practically both of them are working well and there won't be any kind of problem in playing those videos now into your website or into your project so that's all for today's tutorial i hope you guys have liked this tutorial if you have liked it do not hesitate to hit that red subscribe button hope to see you guys in our next tutorial till then bye